So I'm hoping you can see this okay. It's 11 o'clock at night. My daughter is sleeping, so obviously the big light is out, so I'm just using my bedside lamp. And because the room has all been turned around, it's not the brightest anymore. But um, I am starting on Majora Box. I have no idea if I want to post this before or after the um, craft supplies, the hobby surprise supplies that I've been doing. Because um, I know Comery, the method, is very much about doing things in order, but to be frank, sometimes that's just not possible. I know some of you certainly will know that I am disabled, I'm registered disabled. I have a condition called fibromyalgia and I'm not always well enough to do certain things for instance I haven't tackled the kitchen even though the kitchen portion would have come first because there's no way I can do it on my own I'd need my husband's help and he's been working so I try to do my work and craft supplies and I've managed to do the majority of it but my pain's too bad for me to be able to carry on with that so I've gone for the easier task of going through my jewellery this isn't all of my jewellery I have a um, I want to say a small box, it's not, it's still probably about this length, but it's only about this deep, and it has my most precious jewellery, I suppose I should say, in it. It was a wedding present for my husband, so I knew I'd always be keeping it, and it's got very precious jewellery in there. I have some necklace, well, nearly all my necklaces, hanging on the back of my bedroom door at the moment, I don't know if you can see. So yeah, I go sit on chest of drawers. But those are my... Um, pretty much all my necklaces there because our new wardrobe came yesterday my husband and my dad built it and I'm just trying to get things sorted so I thought because I can't sleep and my husband's staying up till 3 in the morning to watch E3 I thought I would work a little bit on my jewellery at least for an hour or so sorry this has gone dark again it probably looks a bit like a hot mess and excuse my foot um, so there is the fully empty one. There's me looking really bad at this time of the night. This bottom one is the jewellery box my husband got me as a wedding gift. I love it still. And this is another little one I got after our wedding that I was thinking of getting rid of. But with what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, I don't think I'm actually going to have use for that big black one because of how I hang my necklaces and stuff. So I'm going to try anyway, so this is seasonal, this is my winter Christmas stuff. Um, I have a couple of Halloween pieces in here. I do love brooches, I used to collect them, but they were just ones I kept going for time and time again, so I'm... So, oh, actually, sorry, I probably shouldn't be showing that, I know pe some people are scared of spiders. So there's some that I go for time and time again, some that are obviously seasonal, some that are very dear to my heart, so for the British Legion. And then some that are dear to my heart, another reason this was a 1940s brooch that my husband bought me. I adore it. And two other brooches that he got me, and I wear these on my winter coat mostly. Oops. And like this one I wore on our wedding day, and it's a Kirk's Folly one. And then, like this one, this is technically a morning brooch. Um, it, my mum, my mum gave it to me, I believe it was her grandma's, or her mum's, so my grandma's, and I think it might be older than that as well. And then some things I have are quite, I suppose, dated, I would guess some people consider, like I have a pair of this earring. I have... Uh, the reason I have these is I have one of my grandma's necklaces, which is simulated emeralds. And it's probably one of my most beloved pieces that I have, so I've got these earrings to match, and I also have a bracelet that complements it as well. So, this is mostly a keep. These are watches I need to get batteries for. These are charity items. <laughs> this pile is more jewellery to take apart, and some to repurpose for work, and then some to give as gifts. Um, my nan-in-law loves Westie, so I think I'll give her this. 
And then my mum's next door neighbour who is a family friend collects and loves ladybirds so I might see if mum would like to give that to her. So yeah, I'm just going to see if I can sort them into these other than obviously my necklaces because there was, I'm trying to find it, there was the pendants like this one here. This was actually given to me by, for my 21st birthday by some old work colleagues and I absolutely love it but because it's been sat in that box and I keep forgetting to go in that box for necklaces because my necklaces hang on my wardrobe door usually I've been neglecting wearing this so I want to hang like them back up I don't have any bracelets because I took them all apart because they were certainly not baby proof so yeah I also don't have any earrings other than just a pair of hoops and a pair of um, hook earrings that my husband got at me and they've just been here. This is actually my husband's. I bought this for him for our third anniversary. But yeah, I've just got two pairs of earrings because I took them all apart. Oh, other than these, which are my really posh going out pair. But yeah, that's all that's in here at the moment. This is where I normally hang my bracelets. So after I've sorted them, I really need to get my act together in making my jewellery again because I put, took it all apart and then just haven't got around to making it and I miss wearing it. So in this little things box, this is the lower section. I'm hoping you can see this. I'm going to try and put it into the laptop light, see if that makes it any better. I don't really think it does, but I just have my watches, so these all need batteries. This is my posh going out watch, it's two cat watches and then my brooches that aren't seasonal. This jewellery box comes with a little tray, so I thought I'd put my seasonal jewellery, so it's mostly um, winter, like winter solstice Christmas jewellery. I do have this little section for Halloween, I will be making a pair of earrings because my old pair is actually in this pile to take part. So that is one box. So this is what this organizer is looking at. As I said, this is where my bracelets will go once I've made them. This is a cleaning white for my um, golden soul jewellery. This is a clay ornament I need to uh, re-ribbon, but I want to keep it in here just to keep it safe because it is clay. So this was the necklace I was talking about, and this ring is also my grandma's, or was also my grandma's. It's a simulated sapphire, but I do wear them together. So these two pieces are the important ones, these are just costume pieces. Well, these are really costume pieces, but these are sentimental and these go with them. And I wear these pretty much every new year or, yeah, pretty much every new year. And then I have my garnets on this side, which my favourite gemstone, very precious to my heart because they were all bought for very special occasions as gifts for me. So I wear these for any posture I'm going to really, but also a lot at Christmas. My two very sad pair of earrings here. Here is like the everyday jewellery, so my, I'm going to say my current wedding ring. Uh, I know that sounds bad, but my original wedding ring and engagement ring are here. It's these two, not this one. These two here. And I still haven't, this one still hasn't gone down enough or I haven't lost enough weight from having our daughter to be able to put them back on yet. So I'm still using the backup wedding ring, I suppose. Just my studs for my second piercing and my hoops I reach all the time that my dad got me. And my Pandora that I wear every day. And then just my silver ring that goes on my other hand. And then this beautiful Cook's Folly ring that my husband got me for my birthday. It's a dragon. As I said, this is my husband, so it needs to go with his watches. But yeah, that's what this one's looking like. So everything else <laughs> is a hot mess of necklaces at the moment. So I'm going to see if I can find some double-sided tape and get my command hooks back up on the wardrobe door. So I've just spread my necklaces out on the bed. So I even included my daughter's... Well, it's a necklace I wear, but it's actually a teether for my daughter. I have a bracelet of that as well that... I've put in a drawer and I need to get that out as well. So I've done them in a couple of different groupings. So these are like my drop necklaces, I'm kind of calling them. These are my pendants and then a very, very special pearl and garnet necklace that didn't um, 
because it's beaded it doesn't curl up enough or curl up properly to be able to go in the jewelry boxes I've already done. This is my collection of Kirk's Folly up to here. I absolutely love Kirk's Folly. I kind of collected it for a while. Uh, that's what my um, witch hat, sh wit, goodness sake, my witch hat brooches. I also have a pair of Dorothy shoe earrings. As I said, I used to collect them, but all of a sudden I can't find them in the UK anywhere. I used to get them bought for me by um, my folks, my parents and my husband. Um, and this one was even what I wore on our wedding day. So I have those and you can probably tell that some of them aren't in colour. Like there's the green dragon and this purple beads. And I do wear this if I'm like wearing all black so that's why I'm keeping them even though they're not like in the same colours as everything else is. And there in the, the background are my three very statement beaded pieces that I just always sort of like hang together. So that's what I've got. The only other necklace I have is this turquoise one. My mum bought me this a couple of years ago. It's a beautiful piece but I just never go for it. It's also very heavy for what I prefer to wear. So I know that she wants to wear it with her dress for our daughter's naming ceremony at the end of next month so after she's worn it I'll ask her if she would like to keep it if not I believe one of my friends was eyeing it up so I'll offer it to her after my mum. I hope you can make any of this out so I have actually found out that the double sided tape that I use for crafting is surprise surprise not strong enough to be used to hang these up so I'm just popping them in this drawer of the unit that's still in our bedroom but isn't actually being used. Um, I have ordered some more command hooks. Unfortunately, I can't find just the clear strips to go on the back of these. So I'm going to have to find some like this super duper strong double sided tape. I think red back tape might do it. Maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, I have ordered a pack of 20 um, new command hooks and I have 21 necklaces including the teether. So if the teether doesn't get hung up, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I'm just keeping them in this drawer because it's midnight, I can't think of anything else and it's probably going to be the safest away from cats and baby. I still have a small pile of jewellery to take apart again, but I'm not doing that tonight. I am way too tired. Square box, it's just one of these is all my accessories other than below here that I'm sorry if you can hear any crying. My daughter is trying to go, well it should be going down to sleep. So sorry about that, my daughter, it's actually her bedtime, um, she was asleep for a while until upstairs banged really loudly and she's trying to get back to sleep lesser but she does fight naps and sleep a lot now. So if you can hear in the background it's because she's fallen asleep again. Um, so yeah, this is my accessories, pretty much only winter accessories other than just underneath these two scarves is a sequined beaded shawl that I wear um, for when I have really posh things like going to the ballet or the opera. doesn't happen very often but I do like to keep it. This scarf is so very very loved. This is actually a present. One of the only presents my best friend Bob has ever bought me. He's really not a gift giver. Um, so when he got me this one Christmas, um, yeah I was really surprised. So I love this scarf and it's super long and super warm. Then I have this one here, this is like a pashmina that I decorated for our wedding and a grey scarf. I used to have tons of different colours of these but I don't wear them so I'm giving them to other people. I do want to get a red one of these so hopefully at this year's Christmas market I'll be able to find like a nice dark red one. Just have one pair of winter gloves and here I have three hats. This one is like a sort of fuzzy um, bunny one, I'm not going to get them out and these two are um, crocheted um, hats that my friend Tabby made me um, so this is just a black hat and this is actually a Totoro one but this is all of my accessories I used to collect scarves especially um, lightweight scarves but I just don't wear them anymore especially with a little one so I have let them go. All of my husband's accessories, it doesn't contain his jewellery, he hasn't actually gone through that so I'm not going to 
organise it because he hasn't sorted it, but he has gone through all his accessories and decided what he wanted to keep and what he didn't. All his regalia stuff, so like his sporran, his skin do is actually in here. Um, I need to find where his belt is as well, but I'm going to keep put them in here and put them in the wardrobe under the others. I'm just going to go in this other box like mine I have. So that's all his mainly winter wear, but he does have a good belt in there, so I can put them away in the cupboard with mine. And they're just going to live in this cupboard down here, just because obviously they're mostly seasonal, so we don't need them all the time. And I did actually have to venture into my husband's jewellery box to find where his skein do, his um, fly plaid brooch, and also his belt buckle are. I'm going to put the skein do and his, it's a faux skein do, you can't actually get the knives, unfortunately, anymore. And the fly plaid brooch in his sporran. His kilt pin's always on his kilt. I'm going to try and pop his belt buckle behind the bow tie I made him. He still wears this when he wears the Bonnie Prince Charlie and it's actually the one I made him for our wedding at his request. 